In this video, we're going to talk about the past stockouts report, which you can find on your dashboard. If it's saved as a favorite, it will show up as one of these uh, buttons on top on your inventory page, or if it's not saved as a favorite, it will show up here in the list of your other dashboards. So the, the past stockouts report, really what this is about is kind of looking at which products have we been stocked out in the past, and then from there, it's a jumping off point to investigate why. So <clears throat> this is kind of similar. Um, I'm just going to talk uh, toggle over real quick to another article we have, which is how to use the stockout risk report. Now, the stockout risk report is more about looking into the future on what stockouts you might have in the future. And it talks about using the stockout avoidance checklist here. The the past stockouts report is similar. It's just looking historically at what products have we stocked out. And then we're going to use the stockout assessment checklist. Now, these are usually done together as kind of an overall investigation and handling on uh, why are we stocking out and how do we event, how do we prevent stockouts in the future? They go, you know, hand in glove. So anyhow, um, pretty straightforward dashboard. We're just looking at the products, the ACE and the SKU. Uh, percentage of stockouts in the past 365 days, and the number of stockout days in the past 365. And then, of course, we do have the potential stockouts moving forward and the next stockout date, which, again, that's that's explained a little bit in more detail on, um, on this article here, which is the stockout risk report. So let's quickly talk about the stockout assessment checklist, which is this one over here. I'm not going to read through the whole thing just because that takes a little bit of time. This will be linked in the article that you're reading now in the text below. So you can always get a copy of this checklist. When you click on the link, it's going to take you to this page. And then what you're going to need to do is come up here to file and make a copy. So you're not going to go save this. You're actually going to make a copy, save it to your own computer uh, or your Google Drive or whatever, this is a Google document, and then you can have editing rights because right now this is shared globally and of course we're only giving viewing uh, rights because this is the master file. So you're going to save a copy of this to your own computer and then you're going to go through with your team and assess why are we having uh, why are we having these stockouts and how do we prevent them in the future. Again, I'm not going to read through this, it's pretty straightforward, but if you ever get into trouble, if you have questions about how to do any of this, feel free to reach out to us at helpme at sostock.com and we can always help you in terms of setting up your you know, min-max restocking, for example, how to set up dashboards, how to set up your forecast settings, your lead times, different things like that using the tools in SoStock to make sure that those stockouts are minimized or mitigated.